Adobe Bridge with Ad uh, Adobe Camera or ACR is the engine that is also in all the Lightrooms, web, mobile, desktop, classic. And we have uh, released some new features that are only in Camera Raw that I definitely want you to take a look at. The first one is this brand new Adobe Adaptive Profile. It's going to be challenging for me to show it on a screen, which is probably an SDR. But if you have Adobe license you, and Photoshop, you already have Bridge, so make sure you check it out. So I'm in Camera Raw. Let me move that over so people can see. I'm in Camera Raw. This is right now set to Adobe Portrait. I'm going to choose the Adobe Adaptive Beta. And this is an adaptive profile that analyzes the images, realizes if there's a sky or person, and builds separate lookup tables for the different elements. This beats any static profile that we have. It's especially useful when you use it for HDR images, which will not show up on this screen, but you definitely want to try it out. And if I turn this off real quickly, I hope you would see how much detail was lost. It's not, I mean, it's in the file. So that preset has had a lot of smart engineers and scientists working on it. Okay, so the next thing I want to show in Camera Raw, which is so exciting, is we have now introduced, oh, oh, I can't even say what, how excited I am um, about this. The generative, I'll be here, back to denoise, okay? I'm going to come over to this file here, any file. I'm going to hit Command R to enter Adobe Camera Raw. And to see this next version of Denoise, you need to come to the Preferences icon, drop down to Technology Previews, and make sure New AI Features is turned on. Because I can come over to my uh, Details tab, click a Denoise, and it's going to run. I'm not going to let it run. Oh, sure, I'll let it run. And it's going to work. And when, I, when, it's, when it's done, you know what's not going to happen? It's not going to make a second DNG file. What? You mean you don't have to manage another file? Thank you. Yay. To the gods in San Jose. And you can go to a different image, come back, readjust the settings, and you still don't get another DNG file. This is so great because I am so confused by all those files. So, boy, she doesn't like settings and she's easily confused. This is true. Now, continuing with what is new in Camera Raw, which you definitely want to take a look at, is we have Generative Expand in Camera Raw working on a raw file. What? So, you have to have the technology preview turned on. I'm going to click my crop tool. And to use this, I can't take a vertical shot to save my life. I mean, it looks straight in the viewfinder. And then when I look in Lightroom, like someone moved it. I'm going to enable expand and rotate the file. Okay, do a little straightening, maybe a little vertical. All right. And now I'm like, you know what? I really want like an eight and a half by 11. And she needs a little more space here. Okay. And I'm going to click Generate on a raw file raw. in Camera Raw. I should see BC hearing like smoke coming out of people's ears. This is amazing. Don't, you don't have to go into Photoshop. You can do it right here. I'm going to quickly update these settings. Okay. And just with all the other, you get your three variations that I can cycle through and I can accept them. I think this is great.